The Austin Public Safety Commission is raising concerns about one of the police department's crowd control devices used during protests. Commission members are asking about the safety of long-range acoustic devices, or LRADs. KXAN's Brianna Hollis listened in on that meeting, and she's joining us live in the newsroom tonight. Brianna, to talk to us about those concerns and how these devices actually work. So the goal of an LRAD is to peacefully disperse crowds with an alarm. According to our previous reporting, the devices were originally invented for communication between naval ships and police departments have integrated them over the past 20 years. Here's a quick example of what they sound like. An audio engineer we spoke with after the 2020 protests says if you're too close to the device for too long when it's sounding off, you could suffer hearing damage. APD says it used an LRAD to direct protesters off I-35 during those protests. And during this evening's commission meeting, APD Commander Corey Robleski was adamant that APD does not use LRADs as weapons. They're solely used as a communication device. Commissioners, as well as a representative from the Austin Electric Frontier Foundation, Foundation asked for more clarity on how APD makes sure officers uses, use the devices safely. I'm concerned that people could not get out of the way of the LRAD. They'd be trapped and pinned in the beam. So I, I want to understand what is being done to prevent this. Someone has to be trained. It's used prior to. You just can't just put any old uh, random officer behind in charge of that device. There needs to be training with the equipment. And the equipment is tested before its use. And the equipment is only used uh, for communication. Now, after the May 2020 protests, APD did ban the use of less lethal beanbag rounds for crowd control. Some of the officers indicted for assault charges stemming from their actions during those protests sued the city, claiming they did not receive proper training with those beanbag devices. Britt. Brianna Hollis, live in the newsroom tonight. And the